Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. With me, as always, the inventor of the infomercial and the original shark on the hit TV series, Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Kevin, thanks so much for being here. Seth, great to be here. Looking forward to hanging out a little bit today. Yes, sir. Our very special guest today is Ron Douglas, president of Ron Douglas Publishing, um, who has been doing some amazing things with other folks we know, like Onyx Seagal and some other amazing folks. Ron, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. It's really an honor to be with you guys. All right, so let's go back in time a little bit. You got your start by you took a cookbook you wrote as a hobby sold over one and a half million copies, got yourself on Good Morning America, NBC, ABC, HSN, and a whole bunch of other places, right? Yes, that's correct. Can't make that up. <laughs> no, no, you can't. So one, let's start with how you did that. And then let's talk about what you've been doing ever since. Right, right. Well, I started out just uh, self-publishing on ClickBank, just selling a little ebook on ClickBank. And um, started connecting with a bunch of different uh, online marketers through the Warrior Forum back in the days. And I met uh, Mike Phil Sam and Tom Bill, and they convinced me that what I was doing with the restaurant, well, the book was about restaurant recipes. So it's my version of uh, restaurant recipes, call them copycat recipes. So that was my niche early on. And I built a community online, self-published uh, about that, had people promoting my product. I had an affiliate program. I had the product on Amazon. So I kind of took it as far as I could take it by myself. And they convinced me that it was much bigger than a ClickBank product it was much bi bigger than Amazon. I could actually get uh, publicity for it and media attention and all that stuff. So um, they introduced me to a publicist and I hired him and he had a girlfriend that worked for the New York Post. And uh, she came by and we made the, the some of the dishes for her. She loved it. And um, before you know it, I was on uh, Good Morning America and all these different shows. She published the story in the New York Post. And so the thing about the New York media is they they all look at the local papers for potential stories. And they saw that and had me on and it kind of dominoed from there. And I ended up doing uh, six books with uh, Simon & Schuster and sold over a million and a half, pretty close to two million copies at this point, became a New York Times bestseller. And that kind of propelled my career into uh, working with guys like Onyx and Gal and being here with uh, Seth and, and Kevin. So it's been a great, uh, great run. Love, love the story. It's, what's, uh, what's awesome about it is the, all that publicity was free, in, you know, in those early days, right? I mean, today they want to charge you to do stories about, you know, things, although books are, have always been a little bit different, but um, that's, that's awesome how you leveraged uh, the book to get on all the shows and 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 get the free publicity. Do you, are you still writing books, Ron? Or what 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 are, what's your your business today? Uh, no longer writing cookbooks. I kind of had a good ten year run with that. Today, I'm well. People wanted to know how did you do that, so I'm teaching entrepreneurs today. And I got into doing webinars early on, uh, maybe 2010. I had a lot of success with that. And I teach webinars today. I have an event called WebinarCon. We'd love to have you actually at a WebinarCon. That would be awesome. But it's where all the webinar promoters in the industry come to uh, do cross promotions and learn about the latest webinar tactics. So we do that uh, once a year. And it's going to be the first week in November in Orlando at the uh, Ritz-Carlton. So that's one I'd of the things I'd love to hear about that. 
you know, it's, it's just up the road from me. So um, it's it, it, webinar con, they call it. Yeah, webinar con, yeah. Yeah, let's touch base on it. Um, could be interesting because, you know, Orlando, when I get up there, I bring my sticks, I'll play golf and stuff like that too, you know? So always a good reason to go up there. Um, sounds good. Fantastic. The, now you've grown, uh, you, you and Onik, um, who's been on the show, um, have grown WebinarCon to, again, another multiple seven-figure business. I mean, I think you did that just in the first six months. Talk a little bit how you created WebinarCon and then how you've scaled it over the last few years. Yeah, you know, it, it helped to work with Onik and work with um, Andy Hassong as the other partner. And we kind of know everybody in the webinar industry because we've been doing webinars for over a decade. And uh, so it started out just word of mouth. Like we went out and said, hey, we're putting uh, everybody together. We're going to you know, bring everybody together. You can do cross promotions. You can learn the latest webinar strategies. We had these folks speaking. Would you like to come join our, it was just a weekend mastermind. We were expecting to get, you know, 25 people. The ticket price was $5,000. The very first one, we ended up getting 125 people to come, yeah. which was awesome for us. And the crazy part about it was um, it was March of 2020. So we literally got that event in six days before that building was shut down, the building that we hosted it in. So that was the last event before the pandemic for a lot of people and we got it in. We were actually gonna push it back <laughs> into right. April because we were glad we didn't because it may, may have never happened. So that happened, it created a lot of momentum. It was largely a word of mouth type of event. And um, we use this thing I call the FOMO formula, right? So mm -hmm. I kind of coined that term. It's basically showing who's coming to the event and then it propelled, it kind of dominoes and more people want to come. So whenever someone would sign up that had a big name or a reputation, we would post like, hey, welcome to WebinarCon and tag them. And then other people would see that. And, and it, the word of mouth spread and became an event that everybody in the webinar industry wanted to go to because there was no event like that. It was kind of a blue ocean for us. You have the popular, you know, big events, the 5,000 people events, and we have a lot of newbies. This was strictly for people willing to pay five grand for people that had established webinars and for people that were serious about their business. And those folks wanted to be around other folks like that. So it worked out well for us. And this is going to be the fourth time we're doing it coming up in uh, November. You've yep. got some incredible results in terms of like the volume of deals that have been done and the revenue that's been driven. Can you share a little bit about some of those success stories? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't even know all of the volume because obviously we don't see everybody's results. But um, we talk to some people and every every time I speak to somebody from webinar con, it seems like they say they've made hundreds of thousands of dollars. I have a couple, few guys I know for a fact made over a million dollars. A lot of people go there right before, like if they have a product. So they go go there in November if they have a product launch coming up in January or, or February to kind of recruit, you know heavy hitters, influencers, JV partners, and things like that. So people have uh, parlayed that into millions of dollars and um, we need to keep better track of it, honestly. What are some of the types of products that have been sold on webinars that have come out of that group? Uh, Robbie Blanchard has his uh, product. It's a ClickBank product called uh, Commission Hero. He teaches people how to do affiliate marketing. And he has so many success stories with that thing. It's amazing, but they, they had an eight figure launch. Um, Onik had his own, his own product he was promoting with that. I mean, it's a lot of information products, coaching, consulting, things like that. Typical stuff you hear about. Chris Luck has his uh, product, uh, Ambassador. He teaches people how to become brand ambassadors online. And he had a big launch for that. So, I mean, all type of products. There's people in the real estate space. There's people in personal development. There's uh, people you know, doing investments in crypto, did, like Joel Peterson has done a million dollars, uh, over a million dollars, he said, from the context he made at WebinarCon. Ron, do you partner course. with people uh, that have ideas or do you, is, is WebinarCon more of a platform that people get access to, but it, you're, you're, you're not involved in the deals or do you get involved in a couple of the deals uh, that might be on the platform? You know, that's a good idea. We really should get more involved and maybe take a percentage like that. But we don't, you know, people just come to WebinarCon, meet each other. And sometimes we'll promote as an affiliate ourselves and get involved, but we don't directly take a percentage of anyone's um, sales just from coming to WebinarCon. Well, make sure you give Kevin a royalty on your royalties from that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good <laughs> idea. We actually had a, a, a vendor, uh, a sponsor that came to WebinarCon the last time. 
and he sold probably three hundred thousand dollars worth of this uh, video equipment, this fancy video setup, like an at-home podcast video uh, equipment setup. And we only we charged them, I think, twenty five thousand. And this guy, I'm like, we should have took a commission from that because the guy made like three hundred thousand dollars selling those to everybody at at the event. So, yeah, great. How do you grow the network? Well, I mean, we're running ads for it. Um, we're running ads targeting high level people that do webinars, experts, coaches, consultants. Um, and a lot of it is word of mouth. We have an affiliate program. We have some people that, uh, like my friend, uh, Nehemiah Davis, he has his own big mastermind group and he tells all his people to come to webinar con and he's an affiliate for us. He's our top affiliate and we give him a, a commission for referring people to us. So, you know, typical stuff, referrals, affiliate marketing, uh, ads, word of mouth, uh, email marketing to the people that came to the event. We also have a virtual event that's happening next month. So the virtual event, we're able to put a lot more people on that virtual event and we market to those folks to get them to come to WebinarCon as well. Are you doing, is there, a, what, is there more to, is there other parts of the business besides the events? Is there like, hey, can you help us craft our webinar? Can you help directly connect us to the right people? How far deep does the business go? Yeah, so we have a mastermind that we sell called the Webinar Alliance. So it's kind of like webinar con all year long where we're constantly connecting people and we're having um, you know, meetups via Zoom and we have all the typical mastermind stuff. We have a day before our event where everybody gets together and does a little masterminding to help each other. So um, that's a $25,000 uh, product and, and we have a good number of mem good number of people in that. And um, I also do webinar um, consulting and webinar writing. I have a team of uh, copywriters that use my webinar formula. And so I kind of do that on the side as well. Is the webinar kind of, is it a live event people attend or is it, is it a virtual? It's both. It's both. It's an in-person event. It's going to happen at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando. They actually have a nice golf course there. I heard. I know I played that one too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, it's also a, a virtual event that's going to happen next the, month online. The, Originally, were you guys going to do it in, in Austin, but you moved it because it we yeah. did it twice in Austin. Austin has become a real complicated market because everyone wants to do events there, but they don't have as many venues as, say, in Orlando. So it's mm. getting really expensive, hard to get the, the dates you want, and they kind of cater to the super big events. So we decided this year to uh, move it to Orlando after doing it twice in Austin. And give me those dates again. It's the first weekend in November. Uh, let's see here. When would that be? November, November third, uh, fourth, and fifth. Got it. Oh, Orlando. Thank you. Yeah, the um, uh, because I'm just thinking, like we know a lot of people that 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 talk to us about doing webinars to raise capital. And have you guys done anything like that where you invite investors to a, a, a private presentation um, of, of an opportunity to hear about a new company to invest in? No, we haven't, but that's a great idea. We'd love to do something like that. I mean, if you, if, yeah, if you could develop uh, a, a business in that area, virtually every company that, that we talk to is looking for money, right? It's always, I mean, even if they're a startup, they need money. If they're having success, they need more money, right? So there's never, I mean, if when I, if I was in uh, New York last night, Melville, New York, doing a, a, se a seminar to about 150 people. And I said, how many here in the room um, are raising capital or going to need capital? And about half the room raised their hand. I'm like, okay, so the rest of you, You've got all the money you need. You don't need any money. You're wealthy. You've got, okay. It's like, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everyone raised their hand. So, um, the, and so in, in developing a business model around that, if you, if you get a list of people that are interested, because it, there's always, you know, it, it's always good companies like to kind of expand the horizons of their business, get some outside investors in. Maybe you could even uh, pick up some, some advisory board members in the process. And sometimes people will pay to be 
in an advisory position inside a company from a prestige angle, you know, they may, may be willing to invest not necessarily millions, but maybe, you know, I mean, I've, I put up a half a million myself to get a board seat in a particular company that was prestigious, you know? So, um, and, and you get stock and you get equity and, you know, it's not just a, a fee, you know, you're, you're buying in, right? So anyway, there's some great opportunities there. Maybe we could explore. Yeah, we'd love to talk more about that. That's, that's pretty smart. I see where you're going with that. Because theoretically, the webinar formula should work regardless of what you're selling, whether it is a physical product, a coaching program, or an investment opportunity, which opens up a whole new investor acquisition channel for you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad uh, you guys had me on. I feel like I should be paying you to be on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make sure Kevin sends you a bill. Your passion is obvious. He's in a MasterCard, no American Express, okay? <laughs> Ron, what do you like best about what you're doing? Uh, honestly, the, the freedom that it gives me to, you know, I have young kids to just be the family man that, you know, be the dad I always wish I had growing up and um, just the financial freedom and the flexibility and the, the ability to just, you know, be able to earn money from anywhere. Like I could do a webinar anywhere. There's a, a Wi-Fi connection any, anywhere throughout the world. So on vacation or just hanging out or at home or in my home office, just uh, the freedom and flexibility for me. Is amazing. And any chance there's going to be a webinar cookbook? Webinar cookbook. I think Russell Brunson did that already, or he did some type of internet marketing recipes. But he maybe. he did the funnel cookbook. It wasn't specifically say the web the the FOMO webinar formula cookbook. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the cooking market. It's, it's a long story. I had a long run with that. I had some issues here and there, as as all businesses do. And I kind of just kind of wiped my hands with that and moved on and transitioned to another phase in life. But I'm thankful. Yeah, I wasn't all specifically the saying it should be a recipe book of food to eat on a webinar. I meant the recipe for webinar success. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. But just saying uh, recipes in general just gives me flashbacks. Like, ah, well, we didn't mean to trigger yeah, the PTSD. Yeah, Sorry no, about that's that. That's a good idea. I mean, it, it would get people's attention. The recipes for having a, a powerful performing webinar. That would, uh, it's a good idea. I mean, you probably had some trademark issues here and there, you know, potentially restaurants or whatever, you know? Um, you know, not from the restaurants, from a no. former partner, from a competitor. You know, oh, okay. Uh, Got I had it. an issue yeah. where, uh, well, maybe someone can learn from this. I had, you know, I had an affiliate program and had a lot of affiliates uh, promoting my product. And my main competitor hated me because I was getting so much traction. I was getting on right. television, all that stuff. So um, some of my affiliates was using, were using his trademark to promote my product. And he didn't come after them. He came after me. So I had a federal thing with lawsuit with a trademark. We ended up getting settling it, but it wasn't, wasn't pleasant. And um, there was another thing with a former partner that, that long story, but yeah. But ironically, the restaurants never really cared. The only time one of the restaurants contacted me was, uh, was KFC contacted me once because I had one of their logos on, on yeah. one of my sales pages. And they said, you got to take that down. And I took it down immediately and never heard from them again. But other than that, yeah, um, you good. could legally copycat. You could say, you know, this is my version of this thing for anything, you know, legally, if it's your version of it and you're not claiming that it's theirs, then um, you can copycat pretty yeah. much anything. Got it. Cool. Ron, where is the best place for our folks who are watching and listening to learn more about you and WebinarCon? Uh, you could, uh, well, WebinarCon.com is about WebinarCon, or you can find it on Facebook, or you can find me at uh, rondouglas.com, and uh, I'm there. Or online, um, I think I'm Instagram, Mr. Ron Douglas. All right. Well, we know your time is incredibly valuable. We greatly appreciate you spending some of it with us. This has been Seth Green and Kevin Harrington for Sharkpreneur with Ron Douglas from Ron Douglas and WebinarCon. Ron, thanks again for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, Ron. Good seeing you, buddy. Take care. Take care. Thanks, everybody, for watching or listening. We'll talk to you or see you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today.
This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.